Hey, Charles Hoffman here from Plugin Alliance. Metric AB version 1.4 has just been released and it includes a ton of new features. If you're unfamiliar with Metric AB, it's a plugin that allows you to compare your mix to a reference mix by clicking an AB button. The real power of Metric AB comes from the detailed analysis pages that it provides, allowing you to overlay your mix with a reference or view the mixes side by side. It includes loudness matching options to eliminate loudness bias that help you conduct accurate AB comparisons. You can load up to 16 reference tracks and toggle between them. Within each reference track, you can set cue points and begin playback wherever you like. Finally, there are built-in filters that allow you to solo and compare specific frequency ranges, helping you dial in your mix. If you're subscribed to Plugin Alliance's Mega Bundle, Metric AB is included with your subscription. This bundle includes over 180 plugins, apps, and effects from over 40 brands starting at just $14.99 a month. To demo the Mega Bundle for 30 days for free, click the link below to get started. Metric AB is Apple Silicon compatible with native plugins for M1 and M2 machines. The AAX works with the latest Pro Tools Silicon build. Metric AB now has a resizable UI. Click the resize icon above the meters and choose an appropriate size for your monitor. You can make this size the default when loading a new instance by selecting Set Current as Default from the Resize menu. There are now four different loudness match modes to choose from. Match A to B, which matches the A stream to the selected reference track. Match B to A, which is the original mode. Match to target loudness, where you can select a target LUFS value like negative 14 LUFS. And finally, match to the lowest volume. This mode figures out which stream has the lowest volume and matches the other one to it. It's perfect for preventing peak overloads. Select the mode, right click on the match button and make a selection from the menu. The current selection is shown with a tick next to it. Once you've made a selection, loudness matching starts automatically. Just keep in mind that both streams need to be active for loudness matching to work. There are two new loudness matching buttons that have been added under the output meter. No matter which page you're viewing, you have access to these features. The left side button matches the reference track to the A stream using Adapter Audio's preferred match mode. The right side button lets you match all reference tracks at once. This is especially useful when there are several reference tracks loaded and the level of the A stream mix has changed since the last loudness match. Just like the main match button on the playlist page, you can access the match mode menu by right clicking. This works on both the match single and match all buttons. As a bonus, there's a command to reset all gains to zero decibels. To customize the target LUFS, go to the settings page and set your target LUFS in the menu. The filters have been redesigned to be more accurate and powerful while also adding several workflow enhancements, making them more intuitive and fun to use. You can now drag the filter range area with your cursor using a left-right motion to reposition the range and sweep through frequencies. You can also use the scroll wheel to edit the size of the filter range with a minimum of one octave all the way up to the full frequency range. For times when the range is small and difficult to grab, you can use the gray ball under the graph to resize the range and drag it around. This works in all views. Filter presets now remember the last used settings, so there's no need to save as default when switching between the preset buttons. You can also save your custom settings as the default for all your sessions. Sync mode has been improved with three new features. You can now place a start marker to set a custom start point for playback. This is similar to the cue markers in cue mode because it allows you to select anywhere in the track to start the playback from. This can be very useful when you change your mix arrangement, but want to reference against a mix with an old arrangement. Just line up the cue marker on the reference track to the desired start position, and then in combination with the start offset, you can match it to the new arrangement. If you need to match several different parts of the arrangement, you can load the same reference track multiple times with different start points for each one. The custom start marker is also ideal if you use pre-roll times at the start of your arrangements. Sync mode now detects invalid song position info and prompts you to restart transport to set a new sync start position. 
This makes metric AB perform much better in hosts like Logic and WaveLab. If there are times where the reference track isn't lining up with the A stream, it's probably due to the DAW not reporting plugin delay compensation accurately to metric AB. This causes the reference track to be out of sync with the A stream. To fix this, there's a new PDC menu that's been added. Click the button to open the settings for plugin delay compensation. You'll hear the A stream and B stream playing simultaneously. You can edit the PDC time and manually align the two streams by drag editing the samples parameter until you hear the tracks flanging in perfect sync. Once in sync, you can close the PDC window and restart the transport to lock in the new sync position. To close the window, click the X or the PDC button. You can bypass PDC by toggling the active button. If you want to preview how the sync sounds when switching the AB streams, toggle the Listen AB button to the off position, and then toggle the AB button as normal. To return to simultaneous listening of the A and B streams, click the Listen button again. Whenever you open or close the PDC window, you need to restart your DAW's transport to ensure the correct sync position. PDC is a global setting for all sync tracks, so you only need to set it once and it will work for all tracks in sync mode. The graphics drawing system has been optimized, making it faster and smoother than past versions. You can now select graph types independently for each analysis page. This means you can use custom settings such as octave for spectrum, plot for correlation, while viewing the stereo image in multiband mode. You can keep loudness and dynamics meters running when switching between the analysis pages. To do this, click the button Latch to DAW Transport and it will activate this mode. This allows you to view the history readings for a full track while still being able to switch to other pages to see what's going on. Organization Workflow has some highly requested new features. You can now organize your presets into folders accessible from the presets menu. A remove missing files command has been added to the loading menu. When you load a preset with missing audio files, you can automatically remove them from the session. All automation parameters are now available for pairing via host MIDI controllers using features such as Logic's smart controls. There's also improved handling for parameters including cue select and loudness matching. Text support for audio file names has been improved. Characters in a range of additional languages will display as intended. And if you have an especially long track name, you can hover over the track's slot and it will scroll to display the full name. You can now load M4A audio files on Windows. Mac users have been able to do this since version 1. There are many more optimization and workflow improvements, as well as over a dozen bug fixes. For a full list of all the changes included in version 1.4, click the link in the description. If you already own Metric AB or you're subscribed to Plugin Alliance's Mega Bundle, you can download Metric AB version 1.4 using the PA Installation Manager. To demo Metric AB for 30 days, along with all of Plugin Alliance's other products, start a Mega Bundle trial today using the link below. Make sure to subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel for plugin walkthroughs, demos, and AB comparisons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.